investigation of a pair of ponies through obstacle 7. I was through obstacle 6, one away from home. I'm at 39, 39.68 seconds for her at obstacle 6. Coming to the edge of the court. Obstacle 6 distribution is lost on the, the course here at the park. Preliminary ponies on course. We have seen the uh, singles with Muffy Keaton, the last of the single ponies, going to the final obstacle. Right now it pairs the ponies in competition. has started on course and uh, negotiated all the gates now of obstacle one, the wishing well. The number 12 assigned to Francois Fleury this weekend here from Quebec. The numéro 12 qui vient de compléter le premier obstacle dans 32 secondes du Québec. Monsieur Francois Fleury avec Zulu, cheval canadien de 19 ans. Francois competed at the uh, Bromont International in Quebec. Game done to the Laurels at Lanzo. Yeah. Points advantage after a great dressage score yesterday. So two pairs of ponies on the course right now. Irene Gillis from North Carolina. She's driving morning coffee and afternoon tea. The pair of Welsh ponies. Megan Benj with her two Welsh ponies also on course right now. The entry of the Stars and Stripes. So Welsh pony farm in Magnolia, Texas. Megan is uh, going uh, to obstacle seven as well. So our last two pairs of ponies have completed obstacle six on the course. Irene Gillis in 49.02. And Megan Benz, the fast, second fastest through that obstacle in a time of 45.25. Both going to Mr. Biggs' logs. And uh, then heading to the infield water at seven, sponsored by Jimmy Fairclough.
went to our score. A report uh, came in when we got the six sheets from obstacle one. There were penalties uh, for her as well as her time in uh, number one. Look at the pairs of ponies. The O'Brien had the fastest time. 